Okay guys, welcome to another video. Once again, we are in the kitchen because we are going to be doing a little cooking. And today, we're cooking some apple pie. You might recognize these apple pie slices. They're kind of like processed cheese slices, but they're made of apple pie. Um, in a video that Aaron and I did a few weeks ago, our Burger Brothers Season 6 Grand Finale, we cooked an apple pie an apple pie burger so we used we use these apple pie slices for that and I thought hey we're not using these correctly so today I'm gonna try to use them correctly this company is called bourbon and they make quite a few items a lot of chocolates and confections and things like that but I guess they also make stuff like this I looked on the app here I checked out their website to see exactly how I should make it there are some instructions on the back um, and pretty much the website said the same thing. The, one, the, the main thing I was concerned about was what thickness of bread I should use. Because right here, I'll tell you the instructions. Basically, put it on a piece of bread, put it in the toaster oven for two to three minutes and voila, you have apple pie toast. So in Japan, when you buy bread, it more or less comes in this sort of cube shape. There's no like super long loaves or if there are, they're very rare. Usually it's like this, and there are six slices is typical, eight slices you can get, but it's still the same thickness. The slices are just a little narrower. So you're getting more slices, but the same quantity of bread, if that makes sense. Um, you can also get it as five slices, so you get thicker bread. Four slices even, I guess it's more like a Texas toast kind of situation. Same dimensions, just uh, cut into four slices. Um, there is also a unicorn, a unicorn, um, 10 slice loaf that you can sometimes see, but it's very rare. So for making sandwiches in Japan, six is a little kind of too thick for a sandwich. So usually I would opt for maybe an eight, but again, if you can find the 10, that's the best for making the sandwiches. And I have also seen in some supermarkets, you can buy a loaf of bread specifically to make sandwiches and it doesn't have a crust it's just the you know the crustless bread that you see at convenience stores they they sell it as bread so you can make your own sandwiches but today we're making the apple pie so they recommend the six six thickness level six six slice loaf so that's what we're going to use today I, I was wondering whether the bread should be toasted or not but it did not specify whether they should be or not. You can see the thickness thickness of this bread here. So it just says put put your slice on the, uh, the baking tray. They come with five slices. This is what a typical slice looks like. Um, and then just unwrap it. And it comes, it comes out of the package very similar. I remember it was slightly fragile. Very similar to a cheese slice. And it said, just put it down on the bread and then peel away like that. I guess that's to avoid breakage or something. So uh, that's what it looks like. It doesn't quite fill up the entire slice, but that's what we're going with. So let's chuck this in the oven and see what happens. So here's the oven, just crank it on, open it up and Slide it in. And I said to wait two to three minutes and we'll see see what happens. Okay, so that was three minutes. It smells a little slightly like a pie in here. You know, a little cinnamon, a little apple-y, but it, it's very slight. So I don't know if I wanted to leave it much longer than that. It's starting to look like it would be quite dark. Let me just pop it down here. So it's definitely toasted. I don't know, you can see the steam coming off. Well, I don't know if you can, but I can. Um, there's the cross section. <laughs> there's not much going on there. Um, yeah, you can see the bottom part is not very toasted. The top part is quite toasted. And I remember when we cooked it as a hamburger, the uh, we put it up we put it on the, the grill and it kind of just melted everywhere 
but here it seems to have soaked into the bread a little bit more now i don't know let's give it a shot i guess before i i say what i think but immediately i'm thinking it needs to be toasted on the bottom but anyhow here we go itadakimasu Okay. Mmm. It's very like crystally sugar. Like it sucked my teeth when I took a bite. There's like a, a sugar layer on top, kind of. But yeah, it does taste. <laughs> it's sugar my teeth like an apple pie. It's like if you buy some small baked goods like at a convenience store or somewhere. It has that sort of apple pie flavor. It's exactly what it has. It's really sticking to my teeth though. Like, I don't know how, how I can describe it, but it's like the top is turned to a layer of crystallized like sugar and it's just like, like sticking everywhere. I mean, it tastes totally fine, but yeah. The bottom, it would be nice if it was a bit toasted. I can see Japanese maybe just popping this in the oven while they get ready for work and this would be like something I would quickly have for breakfast or something like that. But let's take it to the next level. I'm going to try to toast it on both sides. See if I can see if I can elevate this a little bit. Okay, so I just toasted it up on both sides. So I'm going to take this up a notch. So first step, I'm going to throw some butter on it. Okay. Oops, <laughs> that does, it does uh, crumble a little, be careful. <laughs> and then I am going to put, look at that. It doesn't stay together as well as a cheese slice, despite looking very similar. I kind of think you gotta leave it in the fridge. The colder it is, the better it'll stay together. So I'm actually putting two slices on here. I guess I can break this up like so. Yeah, let's chuck this in. Well, maybe I'll put it on my tray once again. Now that the bottom's toasted, I don't want it to overcook. So one more thing I'm going to use is the mochi ice cream. This is the same thing we used on the burger to make it uh, a pie a la mode. So it's, it's vanilla ice cream wrapped in a thin layer of mochi. I guess it, it, could go, it could go in the toaster, maybe melt a bit. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, reuse the wrapper and I'm gonna kind of smoosh it down a little. Oh yeah, that's the way. That is the way. Check that out. Oh yes. Okay, maybe a bit more. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't burn myself, but I was afraid I might. So there you go. Let's uh, lock that up for another minute. Okay, I think it's been in there long enough. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look great? It looks a little, you know, runnier than it did before. It's got two slices of apple as well as the uh, ice cream on there, right? So uh, shall we cut into this? <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Oh, 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 we're, we're, we're starting to lose it there. Let's see if I can get this onto the plate. Oy. Boom. Okay, so we kind of lost the ice cream. It kind of rolled off a bit, but no problem. We got something to dip in now. So let's give this a shot. Right away, you can see that the... <laughs> dripped. It just dripped down. No! Right away, you can see that uh, the toast is a little bit darker. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I shouldn't have cut it. That was my problem. I shouldn't have cut it. But anyhow, let's give this a shot. Mm. Let's see if I can salvage this second piece here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm. Total mess. Total chaos on the plate, but it's so delicious. Like adding that ice, such a mess. Adding that ice cream, adding the extra apple pie sheet really takes it up a notch or two. Um, 
Just don't cut it in half. Don't cut it in half. Whatever you do, that was a total mistake. Oh well, we'll know for next time. And actually, this brand has a few other flavors that I noticed on their website. They have a chocolate one. I've done a video on that before. I'll put a link if you want to check that out. I made a choco banana grilled cheese, well not grilled cheese, grilled chocolate I guess, sandwich. But they also have a melon pan um, slice as well as something French toast. I'm not sure what that's about. But if I can track those down, I might give them a shot. Um, hopefully I learned my lesson to not cut it in half, especially <laughs> when it's so liquidy. And maybe it's it's starting to calm down a bit now as it's cooling down. But uh, yeah, doesn't look good, but trust me, this tastes amazing. And the butter, there's a little bit of butter in there, really good. So let me know if you're in Japan and you've ever, you've ever seen these in the supermarket or if you've ever tried them yourself, if you're a fan or not. This is the apple pie a la mode. Total mess, total chaos, but so delicious. I'm glad I'm not in my car eating this right now. Not that I would be carrying a toaster oven around in my car, but you never know. If you're gonna try this, please use caution. Don't do as I do, but hopefully you learn something. So I'm gonna clean this up. There's a total mess here. <laughs> clean this up. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching everybody. If you're new here, please subscribe. Don't forget to thumb up this video. We're collecting likes through 2024, so appreciate your contribution. And also ring that dinner bell so that you don't miss my next upload. And uh, <laughs> see you guys in the next one.